Hi everyone, uh, I'm back today real quick with a first person camera uh, asset. Uh, I did another video on uh, more of a third person kind of camera, and so this one's a first person because some people were asking about it, so I decided to show this one as well. All right, so I'm just going to get right into it, just be a short, quick video. So if you go to the asset library, uh, there's this simple first person camera script right here. You can just type it in into the search bar or just kind of look under the scripts and it's right here. Uh, so you click on it, go ahead and download it. It should go ahead and uh, download and install real quick. It takes like five seconds. Just get your assets and you should see this folder then. And you'll have this player.gd thing. If you go ahead and click on it, this is actual script uh, for the code. But if you just want to go ahead and add it to your scene, just go ahead and click uh, the little instance child scene and add this player right here, right? And so if we go ahead and raise him on up, and we click play, we go ahead and full screen this, and we now have this first person camera, uh, which moves and clicks and does all sorts of things, jumps, and there's actually a, a flashlight on it as well for some reason, uh, but oh, it turned off. But there's our uh, there's our flashlight um, for whatever reason. But the point is, is uh, there's a really easy first person camera just sitting in the asset store. Um, I always say with cameras, don't waste your time making them. It's not fun to make a camera. It's annoying. Just download one of the million, not million, but several that are on the asset store. Just just use one of these. And I really like this one. Um, I was kind of testing out a couple, and I thought this one worked really well. Just taking a peek at the script real quick. Um, basically, I changed this right here to get it to work. Uh, so I changed it from whatever it was to really WASD, just kind of in a different order. And then I added this uh, space as well to make it jump. And then I changed this right here to make sure the flash down and off. It put as key zero. Um, so if you wanted to do the normal WASD kind of movement, just go ahead and copy this code right here, copy this here and you should get the exact thing I just got. So that's really it. I just kind of wanted to show a basic FPS camera. It's really easy to install. It's in the asset store. Uh, don't waste your time with cameras. Uh, there's a lot more fun things to do than designing a camera. So just download this, add it, and uh, get to having fun creating the cool parts of your game. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you, and uh, enjoy.